Hi, I'm Rodney Salisbury. Welcome to my VOV promo intensive video. I'm going to show you how to do a dramatic promo, a hard sell promo, and a soft sell promo. Enjoy. There are many different types of promos and many different ways and styles in which to interpret and read promos. Knowing how to deliver these promos in the appropriate style intended by the writers and producers is essential for the voiceover actor. In this video presentation, we are going to explore three different promo styles. Hard sell, dramatic, and soft sell reads. How do you decide on your interpretation of the script? Well, it really depends on what the producer is looking for. When I think about the Whitney Houston Sparkle movie, the first thing I did was like this low-key delivery. And I made an MP3 and I sent it to the director. And he called me back and he said, Rodney, I like it, but we need something more up. We need more of a hard sell. So I did another one. And this is what the final product sounds like. Soundtrack for the motion picture Sparkle includes the Whitney Houston Jordan Sparks duet Celebrate and His Eye is on the Sparrow performed by Whitney Houston. Also features new songs from CeeLo Green and Guapale plus remakes of the original classics Something He Can Feel. Hooked on Your Love and Look Into Your Heart. Soundtrack available at FYE. What is a hard sell? In business, it's when you use maximum pressure to sell, trying hard to convince the customer to buy. Example, he was giving us the hard sell. He almost forced us to sign the contract. In voiceover speak, it means to be aggressive in your delivery, energetic, and possibly slightly louder in volume. The goal in the hard sell is to drive the product home quickly. How to accomplish the hard sell promo. Be energetic, be expressive, over-articulate, drive the product home, build intensity, have a slight increase in volume. The Soft Sell Promo What is a soft sell? Not pressuring the customer. Showing the product and letting the customer decide. Example, I like the soft sell guys, the ones who let you take a car for a drive and see if you like it. The idea here is to finesse the copy and soothe the consumer into accepting your pitch and purchasing the product or watching the program you are promoting. A more laid-back style usually wins the day when reading soft sell promo spots. How to accomplish the soft sell promo read. Finesse the copy. Soothe the consumer with your voice. A more laid-back approach. Conversational. Be friendly. A soft sell promo. This is a sample of a soft sell promo. From Oscar winner to Grammy success, the voice is back. Jennifer Hudson, I remember me. Tell me why you the brand new album featuring the single Where You At. Plus, Angel, No One Gonna Love You, I Got This, and more. Jennifer Hudson, I Remember Me, available now. It's very important to do your vocal warm-ups every day and everywhere in your studio. Why in the world would a well want water when a well wants water will a well run dry? Why in the world would a wet well want wet water will a wet well want wet water when a wet well runs dry? Bippity bumpity rippity rumpity bippity bumpity boo. Bippity bumpity rippity rumpity let's make it harder to do. Bumsily clumsily dumsily rumsily hopefully soon we'll be through. With bippity bumpity rippity rumpity stop when your pink tongue turns blue. At the gas station. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you on. Prepare to put your purple and black pleated plaid pants on. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you on. Now properly dress in your purple and black pleated plaid pants. Be gone. Why in the world would a well want water when a well wants water? Will a well run dry? Why in the world would a wet well want wet water? Will a wet well want wet water when a wet well runs dry? Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you on. Prepare to put your purple and black pleated plaid pants on. Properly press the purple and black pleated plaid pants you on. Now properly dressed in your purple and black pleated plaid pants be gone. In the market. Why in the world would a well want water when a well wants water with a well run dry? Why in the world would a wet well want wet water when a wet well want wet water when a wet well runs dry? 
Properly press the purple and black key to pad pants you on. Prepare to put your purple and black key to pad pants on. Properly press the purple and black key to pad pants you on. Now properly dress near purple and black key to pad pants. Be gone. In your car. Properly press the purple and black pleated pipe pants you on. Prepare to put your purple and black pleated pipe pants on. Properly press the purple and black pleated pipe pants you on. Now properly dressed in your purple and black pleated pipe pants. Be gone. I need more gas. Rippity rumpity bippity bumpity bippity bumpity boo. Rippity rumpity bippity bumpity. Let's make it harder to do. Bumsly dumsly rumsly clumsily. Hopefully soon we'll be through with bippity bumpity rippity rumpity. Stop when your pink tongue turns blue. On the treadmill. Let's make it harder to do. Bumsity dumsily rumsily clumsily. Hopefully soon we'll be through. With bippity bumpity rippity rumpity. Stop when your pink tongue turns blue. The dramatic promo read. This is the hard sell read with more intimate intensity. You don't have to shout or push to achieve maximum effect. Use your microphone. Let your microphone do the heavy work while you interpret the copy in the most ominous way. Get closer in proximity to the microphone. Three to four inches is recommended. Embrace the serious nature of the copy if warranted. How to accomplish the dramatic promo read. More intimate intensity. Let your voice do the work. Don't push. Get closer in proximity to the microphone. Three to four inches is recommended. Embrace the serious nature of the copy if warranted. A dramatic promo. This is a sample of a dramatic read. Josh Groban, Noel, all your favorite Christmas classics in one collection. Featuring Little Drummer Boy, Silent Night, I'll Be Home for Christmas, and many more. This Christmas, celebrate with Josh Groban, Noel. It takes confidence to be successful reading promos. What does the word confidence mean to you? Confidence to me means feeling good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, you make other people feel good about you. That's what I do. Even before I walk into the room, I try to have a really good feeling. And uh, usually when I go in feeling that way, things turn out well. You can develop self-confidence by choosing to look at the brighter side of life all the time. It's really that simple. Choose to be happy instead of sad. Find reasons to smile more often. Read books that inspire you and make you feel good. If you learn to master your thoughts, you can channel positive energy, and you can have self-confidence in every aspect of your life. Take just a moment to think about a time when your self-confidence really paid off. Well, I had a time when I think I really showed my confidence when... I took my first demo to an agency trying to get an agent and I went into the agency and tried to take it up to the agent. Well, they wouldn't let me do that, but they let me leave it in the mail room. Uh, it was called a ICM at the time it, and it was one of the biggest agencies in the country in Los Angeles. And after I left it in the mail room, I went out to my car and I called up and I asked for one of the agents there and they gave uh, me Jim Duda. And I told Jim, I said, Jim, there is a cassette in the mail room that is just really, really hot. And you really have to go and get it. And I think if you do, you're going to like it. And you just might even want to represent the person that you hear. And he said, really? And I said, really? And he went and he got the tape. And um, I was sitting in my car there, I don't know, for maybe about 20 minutes or so. And all of a sudden, uh, I get a phone call back, and he says, uh, Rodney, are, are you still here? Are you on the premises? I said, yeah, I am. He said, listen, come on up. I'd like you to read some copy. And I went up, and I read, and I got it, and it was a Bank of America commercial, and I ended up doing many more Bank of America commercials. And um, that's how I got my first agent. So I really feel that was a time when exuding confidence really helped me out. Do you ever have to record in the car? Yes, sometimes we do have to record in the car. I advise you to use the Apache microphone. That's what I use, very nice. And I record onto my iPad. 
also very nice. The acoustics are great in the car, and um, it's a good chance that you'll probably book that audition. What is the secret to doing hard sell promos? Secret to doing hard sell promos is working out. That's the secret every day. Could you give me that again, please? The secret to doing hard sell promos is working out every day. That's how you do it. That's how you get the stamina. Hard sell promo. This is a sample of a hard sell read. America loves its country, and tonight is country's biggest night. The CMA Awards, live on CBS, hosted by Vince Gill. Special performances by Willie Nelson with Sheryl Crow, Tim McGraw, Dixie Chicks, Brooks and Dunn, George Strait, Toby Key, Alan Jackson, Leanne Womack, Martina McBride, Trisha Yearwood, Sarah Evans, Lone Star, live on the CMA Awards on CBS, tonight, 8 Eastern. Let's drop in on a few promo sessions. When they ask for three in a row, make sure you do it different each time. All right. Okay, I, I can just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Rodney, here we go. This is... The story of music's biggest superstar. He went from hopping the A train to having his own plane. He went from hopping the A train to having his own plane. He went from hopping the A train to having his own plane. Sports-related promos demand some hand movement. The 2013 Pelicans Draft Recap Show was brought to you by Chevron, Chevron with Tecron, care for your car, Entergy, the power of people. Auctioner, healthcare with peace of mind. And by People's Health, your Medicare health team. Thanks for listening to the New Orleans Pelicans Radio Network. Thanks for listening to the New Orleans Pelicans Radio Network. The 2013 Pelicans Draft Recap Show was brought to you by Chevron, Chevron with Tecron, care for your car. Entergy, the power of people. Auctioner, healthcare with peace of mind. And by People's Health, your Medicare health team. Thanks for listening to the New Orleans Pelicans Radio Network. Make sure you say goodbye after the session. All righty. That sounds good. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. All right. Uh, be good now. Bye-bye. Nice working with you. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Uh, all righty. Bye-bye. Should I get my hair cut before I do a promo? It's not mandatory, but it might be a good idea to get a haircut before you do a promo. If you look good, you feel good, you talk good, great promo. Frequently Asked Questions How can I be more convincing on a promo? One way to be convincing when you're doing a promo is to make it sound like you're the authority. In other words, know the subject that you're talking about. When people feel like they're hearing it from an authority, they're more likely to watch. How do I find my best promo voice? You can find your best promo voice by continuing to practice. Also, when you audition for promos, what have you been more successful with? That's probably your best promo voice. That's the one to use. How do I find promo work? How do you find promo work? Get an agent who specializes in finding promo work. That's right, they're out there. There are agents that are specifically for promos and trailers. Look them up, they can help you. From my books, to my motivational CDs. From my coaching,
to my consulting. And don't forget my workshops in Los Angeles, Nashville, and New York. Everything I do is for you. Well, all right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, I'm going to tell you how to do a trailer. Before I go, take a listen to this trailer from Red Tails. New adversity to the stars! The color gave them their name. Bright Red Tails, Black Pilot. Here we go! Faith gave them their strength. Heavenly Father, surround us as we fly through the sky. Amen. On January 20th. Bogies inbound, 12 o'clock. Die, you nuts, do Executive producer George Lucas presents. I got him, I got him. Get on the inside! Cuba Gooding Jr. We fight a pilot. Yeah! Terrence Howard. To the last man, we fight! We fight! Red Tails. Gotcha! Rated PG-13 may be inappropriate for children under 13. In theaters January 20th. Part 2. Promo Lessons. How to take the announcery read out of voiceover promo copy. One of the most annoying things about reading promo voiceover copy these days is the current trend of not sounding like an announcer when the copy is obviously written for an announcer. It seems like every VO direction I read lately has words like not too announcery and non announcerish These words don't even exist. Producers and writers of commercial copy created this form of directional slang to direct us. What to do, you ask? Here are some tips on how to take the announcer read out of your promo copy. Don't articulate so much. To use a music analogy, more legato and less staccato. End each line going down or level. Make it more conversational. Don't shout. Less melody or variation throughout the line. Don't oversell. Here's an example. Let your voice follow the arrows at the end of each sentence. First, let's read it as a traditional announcer. Notice how the lines end up or straight. The seating on this plane is the most comfortable seating on a plane today. The cost to fly on this airline is the most economical in the industry. Join us and sit in the lap of air travel luxury. With more savings, more space, free movies, and more friendly service. The choice is simple. Pay less and fly with the best. Now, take the traditional announcer out and notice how the lines end down or straight. The seating on this plane is the most comfortable seating on a plane today. The cost to fly on this airline is the most economical in the industry. Join us and sit in the lap of air travel luxury. With more savings, more space, free movies, and more friendly service. The choice is simple. Pay less and fly with the best. You hear the difference? You can also change the rhythm. A rhythm change is another way to take the announcer read out of promo copy. Sometimes the traditional announcer rhythm is fast, choppy, with a marching tempo. When you change the rhythm to a flowing trot-like gliding tempo, you bring a natural pace to the read that makes it more soothing and less frantic. If I were to use playing drums as an analogy, I would say use your brushes instead of your sticks. Think smooth jazz instead of up-tempo rock and roll. But please, don't totally abandon your ability to read announcer copy like a traditional announcer. A trend is just that, a trend. And they are forever changing. Promo Microphone Techniques How do you use the mic on a dramatic promo? If it's a dramatic promo, I get in closer for more intimacy and more intensity. The closer you get to the microphone, the more it picks up the lower frequencies in your voice. Coming up on Behind Closed Doors, Gonzalo's new wife is beautiful and mysterious, but there is a fine line between mystery and secrets. Find out what she's hiding on Behind Closed Doors, next. What about a comedy promo? If it's a comedy, I stand about right here. I'm a good six, seven inches away from the microphone. And now I'm able to speak loud and get really excited and get that smile in my voice. And I don't have to worry about plosives or anything like that because I'm far enough away from the mic. Plus, I have this sleeve on the 416 Sennheiser and um, it stops things from popping. So I don't have to worry about that. He went from hopping the A train to having his own plane. He went from hopping the A train 
to having his own plane. How about a sports promo? Sports promos are real exciting, all right? I kind of feel like I'm playing a sport when I do the promo. So I really like to get, again, about six inches, sometimes even a little more. And um, uh, if you noticed in the videos, I like to work my fingers, okay? Um, this sort of just helps me get going, right? Uh, I feel like an athlete when I'm doing a sports promo. Yeah. The 2013 Pelicans Draft Recap Show was brought to you by Chevron, Chevron with Tecron. Care for your car. Entergy, the power of people. Auctioner, healthcare with peace of mind. And by People's Health, your Medicare health team. Thanks for listening to the New Orleans Pelicans Radio Network. All right, I think you got the idea. How about another hard sell promo? It's the summer's biggest sensation. And now it all comes down to this, the Dancing with the Stars grand finale. Underdog Kelly Monaco. The eye of the tiger, baby. Takes on favorite John O'Hurley. Be afraid, be very afraid. The judges score and your vote decide the champion. Live. Plus, all the stars reunite for one final encore. It's the night America has been waiting for. Dancing with the Stars Grand Finale. Wednesday, 9, 8 Central. Only on ABC. I have a few more questions for you. Can I put everything on one demo? You need a separate promo demo because it's different from the other demos. A promo demo lets everybody hear what you would sound like doing a promo, and that's important. How long should the demo be? Demos are a lot shorter these days, even the promo demo, usually around a minute. You should have about five or six snippets. That's five or six different promos. What about microphone technique? Microphone technique is really important. I talked about it earlier in the video. It's important to know that when you want to do something really loud, you want to stand back from the microphone. And when you want to do something more intimate and quiet and bring out the low frequencies in your voice, you get closer. What do you think about a website? A website is very important. On your website, you have things like your resume, your bio. You have different demos for them to listen to. You can put your commercial demo on your website, and you can put your promo demo on your website. You can also use your website to establish your brand. Or promote your upcoming events. Is the sound of your voice important? No doubt about it, it's important how you sound. But what really counts is how you interpret the copy. That's the difference. It's not how you sound, but how you interpret the copy that wins the job. How do I develop my own style? I think when you're trying to find your style, you want to listen to some other voiceover artists. Listen for things that you like, things that you might want to borrow, or sometimes we call it stealing. But the most important thing is to establish your own style. Tell us about the Consultants Club. I used to always wonder, what does a consultant do? <laughs> you know, I, people actually pay somebody to help them with their business. And then I started to think about it and I said, yeah, that's right. I could help people with their voiceover business, help you grow your voiceover business. So I started the Consultants Club and it's really turned out to be a great thing. What really motivated you to start this club? I wanted a chance to make my consulting services more affordable. I'm normally $200 an hour. So I decided to start this subscription club called the Consultants Club. For $59.95, you get 30 minutes of me on the telephone per month. Plus, there's an hour conference call where everybody from the group is on the phone. We have special guests and expert guests who talk about everything from audiobooks to trailers to promos to commercials to narration. We do it all with the Consultants Club. The Consultants Club. You can join up today at www.rodneysalsbury.com.
Rodney praises his students as he teaches promo. Plus, a great lineup of all your favorite blockbuster movies, all right here on ABC. All right. Right here on ABC. That's great. All right here on ABC. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> all right, you want to go next? ABC. Very, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Good job. You got me. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Very good. Yeah. Very nice. Let's get one more. Here. Okay, now one more time. And let's right. take it slow. So, tonight. Tonight. <laughs> You're going to like that. All right, let's go to the next one. It's Wednesday on Channel 12. Nice. Really nice. Okay, you can stand in here, but you're going to turn your head just slightly, get even closer to the mic. Okay, so now we're going to get those low tones, right? Okay. They're kicking. And so now I want you to give me that sort of monotone, right? Okay. Not much melody, okay. not much roller coaster. Okay. Um, flat reed, and it will give it more seriousness. Okay. I want that alto that I told you that I like. Okay. And um, let's see what happens. American Justice, Wednesday on Channel 12. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Very good. All right. Good work. All right. <laughs> good job. Good job. Well, that's all, folks. I've got nothing more to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you join me in my next promo trailer teleclass. I'm going to be teaching it in early October. I haven't taught it in a long time. The last time I did, some really great people came out of that class and went on to be Voices of Networks. That's right, Voices of Networks after taking my six-week promo trailer teleclass. Just check my website for the details. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep an eye on my website for any future workshops or teleclasses. I know for a fact that one is coming up that you really want to be involved with. It's my promo trailer teleclass. It's very popular, and I'm going to do it in October. So keep an eye on that website. Bye-bye.